passing parameters to the stored procedure. In the previous lesson, we discussed how to call the stored procedure and how to bind table data to data grid view control using stored procedure. Now we're going to see how to pass the parameter to stored procedure using .NET application. Open a Visual Studio .NET 2008 Windows application. Here we have combo box. Using this control, we're going to fetch the product information based on the combo box selected item value. That is, we're going to pass combo box value as a parameter to the stored procedure to process the query. Now let's start with the creation of parameterized stored procedure. Open an SQL Server Management Studio. Look at the Query Editor window. Here I've created a stored procedure with parameter. My Pro is the name of the stored procedure, and SP Number is the parameter of type bar char. See the Select SQL Query. Here we are fetching the products information based on the parameter SP Number. Right, move to our application. Double click the combo box control to move to code window. Add this coding and see the logic. The SQL command specifies the name of a stored procedure, MyPro, as its first parameter. This particular stored procedure takes a single parameter named at SP number. Therefore, we must populate this parameter using an SQL parameter object. The name of the parameter passed as the first parameter to the SQL parameter constructor must be spelled exactly the same as the stored procedure parameter. Now then, press F5 to run the application. Now we are in execution window. Click the combo box to select the item. It will display products information based on item number. Try it on your own and check the answer. 